My name is Dr. Robinson. I am an opioid addiction doctor at suboxoneclinics.com. Suboxone Clinics is one of the biggest opioid addiction clinics in the United States. Let's talk about the impact of COVID-19 on Suboxone Clinics and addiction treatment. COVID-19 has had a significant impact on various aspects of healthcare, including addiction treatment and Suboxone Clinics. Here are some of the ways in which the pandemic has affected Suboxone Clinics and addiction treatment. Access to treatment. The pandemic created barriers to accessing addiction treatment services, including Suboxone Clinics. Lockdowns, restrictions on movement, and concerns about contracting the virus made it difficult for some individuals to reach clinics for their regular appointments or to initiate treatment. Telehealth. To adapt to the challenges posed by the pandemic, many Suboxone Clinics and addiction treatment centers turned to telehealth solutions. They began offering virtual appointments and consultations to ensure that patients could continue to receive care while minimizing the risk of exposure to the virus. Disruption of services. Some clinics had to temporarily close or reduce their operations due to staffing shortages, concerns about virus transmission, or financial difficulties. This disruption in services could have impacted patients' access to medications like suboxone and counseling. Increased stress and relapse. The pandemic brought about increased stress, anxiety, and isolation for many individuals, which could contribute to an increased risk of relapse among those in addiction treatment. The loss of jobs, social isolation, and uncertainty about the future may have triggered relapses in some cases. Mental health impact. The pandemic's impact on mental health has also affected individuals with substance use disorders. The increased prevalence of anxiety, depression, and other mental health issues can complicate addiction treatment and recovery efforts. Supply chain disruptions. The pandemic disrupted global supply chains which could have affected the availability of medications like Suboxone. This could have led to concerns about medication shortages among patients. Support group limitations. In-person support group meetings, which play a crucial role in addiction recovery, were often suspended or moved to virtual platforms. While virtual meetings provided an alternative, some individuals may have found it less effective than in-person interactions. Financial strain. Many people faced financial challenges due to job losses and economic downturns caused by the pandemic. Financial stress can impact individuals' ability to afford addiction treatment and medications. Healthcare system strain. Healthcare systems were strained due to the influx of COVID-19 patients, leading to shifts in resources and priorities. This could have indirectly affected addiction treatment services and suboxone clinics. Delayed treatment. Some individuals may have postponed seeking treatment or starting suboxone therapy due to fears of exposure to the virus. This delay in seeking help could have negative consequences for their health and recovery. Innovation and adaptation. Despite the challenges, some addiction treatment centers and suboxone clinics adapted and innovated to provide continuous care. This could include expanded telehealth options, home delivery of medications, and new ways of providing counseling and support. Overall, the COVID-19 pandemic has posed numerous challenges to suboxone clinics and addiction treatment services. While it disrupted the status quo, it also prompted innovation and adaptation in the field of addiction treatment to ensure that individuals could continue to receive the care they needed, albeit in different formats. If you want updates on opioid addiction recovery, please subscribe to our channel. To make an appointment, please schedule on suboxoneclinics.com.